Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason. All right, this video is going to be pretty short and sweet. Um, you know, I've been um, rebuilding this thing the past day and a half, the Serpent SRX-8 Eco Buggy. Um, and as I was taking apart a lot of things, you know, I'm glad that I decided to do that. These buggies are tough. Um, you know, I'm eventually going to do a review on the Mugen and this, like just an overall review because there's a lot of things I've noticed. I'm going to uh, say one thing is these uh, serpents are just, man, these things are tough, man. Uh, they're just super tough. I haven't broke nothing on this all season except for I broke the, uh, the little carbon fiber piece that holds the steering uh, arm there uh, once or maybe twice even. But um, other than that, you know, I bet. The, the drive shafts and I've, I've always re just rebended them back out and they, they're fine so um all right guys so i went ahead and put new front a arms i was thinking about putting front and rear but uh i decided just to do the uh, front because the rear are not you know not so bad the front were actually um hold on a second all right so yeah the fronts they were actually bent pretty bad both of them which i know that that happens you know and um usually it doesn't make too big of a difference you know as long as they don't get um too old which these ones were getting pretty old so i will keep them as backup till i get my next uh replacement uh backup set which shouldn't be long but um i probably will just keep them as backup you know um also i know which i'm i'm really glad that um you know that i you know, of course, I was going to, I, I decided I was going to uh, rebuild it before the Blue Ridge Nationals so that, you know, I didn't have any real bad luck there. But anyway, I noticed this had a crack in the arm, you know. Another thing I noticed, um, one of the uh, sensor wires was broken on this motor. So that's an, it's got an, uh, a new sensor. Well, not new, but just a different one. But, um. All right, so yeah, guys, um, these things are pretty bent up. They had the crack in the one area. So, you know, sometimes, you, you know, looking at it, they didn't look this bent, which I never really tried to check how bent they were. But, um, you know, it's something I'll keep an eye on from now on. Um, all right, another thing, I replaced the connector because these things just get worn out sometimes, and you just got to replace them, uh, especially the Dean's. Um, I moved my um, my lap counter to right here on the other side. Like I had it back there. And I've had it a few different places, but that uh, that Velcro there is wearing out, and it's the um, there's this like little top sticker on top of this thing, and it's starting to peel off. It goes across the whole thing. I got this other one uh, on the other side, so I, I didn't want to peel this off. So maybe I will just peel it off. But, um, as you can see, I have my antenna kind of done strange. That's because I wanted to stick out and them little straws fall off. I, I never have good luck with them. The little tips will fall off and all this and that. So, I just put heat shrink all over it and kind of put more, you know, bigger pieces at the base. I've got it now heat shrink around this. And it's worked really good. It's not the prettiest thing, but it has been reliable. You know, I've had no problems with it. So, um... Uh, I've been looking at the Mugen here because, um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to think if, uh, if I want to keep it, if I need, because either I'm going to keep it or I need to uh, rebuild it or sell it. So um, I decided, you know, because I've been having this motor, the 2250 as a backup motor. So I figured I'd put this in there and keep this SMC 1900 as a backup, you know, for race days or whatever, if I were to sell it. Uh, the buggy that is because uh, i'm probably gonna sell it ready to run with that beast uh pro esc and the uh the servo probably you know the receiver i'll take the transponder off of it i'm, I'm probably gonna sell those too now because my track uh, my local track whenever they do open back up they don't use those and a lot of other tracks don't it's kind of like 50 50 for the tracks i go to half of them um it can work and that is the two wire um what do you call it mrts 
So yeah. Um, but the the good thing about it, um, the three or about my my track, uh, their new system is the 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 three wire works now, and those are a little cheaper, and they pretty much work everywhere else. You know, my the, my local track was one of the last places to um, upgrade their system to something that will take that, and they upgraded to the newest one, which will no longer it's it's phased out these MRTs. All right, so. I put the motor in there. This is a Ghoul RC 2250X. I call it a Ghoul RC because it's got the uh, orange can. Um, I don't remember what it's advertised as, but I figured it was Ghoul RC because, you know, uh, I had one that looked just like it that did say Ghoul RC, but it doesn't say it anywhere. So, any, you know, bottom line, it came from the same warehouse. So, you know, it's the same product. Um, so, anyway, I'm running it a little bit. And then um, it cuts off, and I noticed there was a little smoke come out the motor right here. So I took it apart. As I'm looking in there, I've kind of pushed them, the wires back down, you know, touching each other. But there's a few wires that are black and that have broken. You know, and um, I guess that's where the smoke came from. So I'm trying to wonder what what would it, what you know what would have caused that. Um, the bearings seem to be okay. The rotor. It's got all the screws connected to it now, but the rotor seemed to be okay. Um, another uh, little tip, guys. Uh, anytime you take, if you do decide to take one of these brushless motors apart, make sure you watch out for these. They could be on the top or the bottom. These are little uh, spacer washers. Um, you know, they just use them to probably, uh, you know, to fit the can just perfect so that the uh, rotor is right in the middle of the magnets. Dang, I'm picking up everything over here, guys. All right. Oh, another thing I want to show you guys. So this is something. Whoop. There goes my little sensor board. Uh, I'm I'm just going to throw this motor away now. It's garbage. I may keep the sensor board in case I you know have another motor in the future that uh, could use it. Alrighty. Well, I guess the last thing I want to show you guys is um, something that may help you um, avoid. You know some of these problems with some of these lower end still good motors but if you're going to have them in the dirt where they're going to get a lot of dirt you know potentially in them you might want to do th uh, this um i didn't think to do this till after you know i haven't ran this since i put these in there um i also put them in my old gtw motors um but last time i tried to use those i put them in after i you know it used them i didn't think about it till afterwards and um they no longer worked so um but what they are is these little um grub screws because these cheaper motors they will have holes clean through that go to the can whereas you'll see it my hobby wing has is pretty much the same um uh, where you can see there's a backstop at each one of these holes you know so um just a little tip to you guys that you know may want to run something cheaper in the dirt. This would probably help out a lot. All right, guys. So you know, I know I've got this thing ready for the uh, summer sizzler. Um, you know, I got the new arms on it. Got 2.5 sway bar in the front and rear now. Um, redone the differentials. Everything on this thing is uh, ready. So um, look forward to seeing whoever's going to be there. Uh, you know. I hope to meet a bunch of you guys, so uh, if y'all see me there, just come up and say what's up, introduce yourself, and um, so yeah. <clears throat> Alright guys, well that's about all I got for today, but um, you know, my next race will be at the uh, Blue Ridge Nationals. Uh, I'll be racing Sportsman E-Buggy with my Serpent here, and um, I'm considering taking my Nitro. I was going to do it for sure, but now I'm just, you know, I'm not real sure. I'm um, having some issues with it, but um, we'll get into that on another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Later.